Don't do your thing like you normally do. Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV. Today we're going to be racing the Charlotte Roval and the NCCRS. We're going to go ahead and get this out the way. Um, I did everything I could to make this race to where it is drivable for the AI. However, I don't expect this race to be that great. How? But they may surprise me. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So starting on pole, Kyler Schuster. Um, remember him, Captain Consistency. Last time he uh, last time he got a top ten was the time that his uh, top ten streak was ended. So has he gotten a top ten since his top ten streak and. Uh, he may be able to restart that if he gets that back going again. He's still above the cut line right now, though. Still able to keep his consistency alive, as he is Captain Consistency, living up to his name. Uh, but yeah, getting the pull here today, that's 10 point bonus. And he's currently 25 points above, above the cut line. He's kept consistent enough. Not quite consistent top 10 level, but we'll see what he can cook if he's able to get that consistency back after the. Uh, slight slump he's had as of late and we'll see how that goes ryan cole starting second uh won at uh what was it daytona yeah he won at daytona and uh that put him to do spot in points not quite in the points conversation right now but his teammate just went below below the cut line after last race he's not shown any consistency that one bristol win may have just been a fluke and a bad setup as probably was jet 07 starting third I don't really say about him. Alex Tanker starting third, not he's starting fourth, and he uh, I believe he has two wins this season, maybe three. I might be wrong, but uh, other than that, he's had a pretty solid season. No consistency though, so that's why he's not in the championship talks at the moment, nor in playoff contention at the moment. Brock Nelson, 51 has been all right. Don't really say. Sixth place, Byron Webb. Definitely one of the worst cars, uh, worst drivers this season. Uh, got a good start here today. Made his cup debut. Was fast in practice in his cup debut. Um, and then in seventh, Nimrod. He's been very consistent. A lot of few laps last race. Uh, starting to get some consistency going. May start getting that playoff conversation soon. Starting eighth is your points leader, Shred, who uh, currently looks to extend that if he finishes here. Because um, none of his... Uh, Current know the people up here up front contending for that points lead is there to fight for it at the moment at start. So we'll see how that goes. I don't expect to go too well. Jimmy Starr starting ninth. Uh, he needs a good season going. He's joined late and has kind of just not been given a lot of good cards to deal with. As Real Dreamer, he's been sticking in against some top tens here and there. May do the same today. And then Zig just outside the top ten. Uh, not that much else to state. Frank Chilton in his cup debut at Twin Ring Motegi got fifth. Today, not starting so great. We'll see how he does in that four car for Wood Brothers Racing. Reggie, do you got any thoughts? Uh, yeah, I do. Alright. Here's Jimmy Starr starting way in the back of this race. Right, Mr. Raw Pace. Raw Pace Chilton. Any other thoughts? All One right. One more. All the right. last engine. Drivers, stop your engines! Alright. 11 laps. Don't know what to expect. I have a little idea what to expect. The expectations aren't high. You want to call green? All right, they have a restart. Well, I think they just start going like right after they get off that uh, chicane. We'll see. Oh, 
Uh, I think what's the exit? This can should be green. That's the turtle egg. Yep. And already spreading out. No surprise to see. Battle for third heating up already. Alex Tanker looking to take a spot on the start. Speed versus consistency here. Uh, Sustre has taken away with the lead. Alex Tanker there battling hard for third. Oh, misses the corner quite a bit. That make put him in the wall. They're good. All right. Ah, uh, tries to cross over here. Doesn't quite have the run. It looks like that 97 starting to pull away. Make it his first career win today. Battle for fifth between uh, Bry Byron Webb, who was looking for his first top five of, the s of his career. Uh, he's only one spot between him and that. Then uh, Shred and Brock Nelson are teammates. Not sure if y'all are aware. And they are running, uh, they're the only spot between them as well. And already spread out quite a bit on uh, pace. And I think we're going to start seeing the faster cars start pulling away. And it's just become a race where if you're faster, you pull away. As Sustre has pretty much done so. So he may, he, if he can stay doing so, not use of his stuff, uh, he may end up winning this. 11 laps, most laps led. Great points day. Definitely put him in playoff contention. Take a look see. We got the fast slap there. Oh, see straight in the wall a little bit. Not a huge hit. That was one of the main concerns when I was testing this track out, but right now it looks like uh, the fast cars on the racetrack are running uh, right exactly where they are according to their pace. So, uh, no surprise to see that, as uh, the pace has proven so. There's no one falling back too far. Don't think that's really a concern for disqualifications and whatnot. As reckon out the reckon out of the race is not the way to go. So yeah. But Sustery fast off the start. Looks like the field is spreading out quite a bit. As a uh, last running car in the top five is very well single filed out. This is 06 is Zigzagoon may have lost a couple spots on the start. He did not need that as Frank Chilton was in front of him. Yeah, he's lost two spots. That has not helped him at all. He appears to be off pace and been being put on a lot of pressure by the 45 Ain Styles. And it looks like the 101 of Moon Man may, may be uh, out of this race. It looks like he had something happen to him. We'll see what happened to Moon Man. Looks like he plowed there was a wreck here. It's like it involved uh, Pox Cozart, Patrick Miller, and the 83 of Thunder 24 fans. So, not big enough to put out a yellow, but definitely makes things interesting on another spectrum. Back to live coverage. Pox Cozart is in 37th. Not the place you want to be if you want to be winning this race. So far, no one's fallen back too, consider too considerably other than that. Monster currently the last running car on the racetrack as battles back here are pretty intense as Aztec Levette almost uh, hit the wall a little bit there off that corner. Tense battle here for 30. I want to say 36, but I think that 21 car has too much damage to be too competitive. Santa Messi not looking for a good day at all right now. He does not need that for his standings. And that 21 car is dropping like a rock. Going to go back to the leader, make sure he's still in the lead. And it looks like he will stay the case. Is not exactly pulling away, yeah. but staying steady to where he needs to be. The 101 car is still in the race. Uh, you know what? He's got pace. Let's see if uh, 
I don't think he's going to be an issue. If he is, I'm not even going to uh, DNF him. I'm just going to give him a black flag. I'll have to serve. That way he's not in the way. Of the 97. Everything else has pretty much stayed the same as everyone's qualifying has equivalented out to where they're pacing right now. Say Fox is 27th. Doesn't need a good, doesn't need a run like that. He's fighting for the points lead right now. Shred is looking to extend it by a much greater finish than where he was prior. But uh, 85 Alex Tanker looking for a good run today. He's not really consistent, so could use it. I uh, didn't really test so much on the aspects of passing. Clearly, we haven't seen a whole lot of it, except for 21 of Pax Kozar, who is well off, is a little bit off pace compared to the rest of the field. Um, has lost some spots due to that, and then in the back, of course, the battles are intense. But uh, other than that, not really a whole lot of passing for position. Potato Boy does not need a race like this, as he was looking to get a good, better setup. For today, unfortunately, he didn't get it, and it looks like him and Sam Oskin battling really heavy here for this spot. This is 40, 41st, I believe they're battling for. The 88 of uh, Matt MV trying to get underneath 43, so it looks like passing is a th is a thing. They just gotta get close to e enough to each other to do it. And it looks like the 57 has cleared the 02 and the 88. Met MV. Uh, fast in practice. Uh, did not show well for qualifying. Uh, clearly doesn't have the pace for the race either. He's, he is not even on the. He's, Jet 07 has taken the fastest lap of the race. So, with tires wearing in, about halfway almost. You may see some passes up front. Again, I say may. And it looks like that battle between the 43 and the 88 has disappeared. The 43 did take it um, for sure now. And once again, nothing has changed. It looked like that uh, 07 may have, may have had something, but they're just still really spread out now. I wouldn't be surprised that 97 put a second on Ryan Cole here. Yeah, Ryan Cole in the 55, just not quite there when it comes to speed with the 97. It's not really that they're not able to pass, they're just not able to get up to each other. It's, that's just a factor of one car is faster than the other. Like I said, this race wasn't really meant to be great. <laughs> Should have been great, but couldn't make anything happen of it. So far, only one wreck that I, I've been made aware of. They may have wrecked other places, and I'm not seeing it, but the uh, wreck with the uh, 21, and it looks like the 16 of Riley Gorse has fallen back quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to him. Not really too worried about checking on that. The 101 is... I don't think he's going to be too much of a threat going to lap down here. I won't. I won't do much to him. But yeah, in the back of the pack's really the cons that 16's really losing pace. Is he? Is he that slow? Keep an eye on him. But Kyler Sustre will get the most laps led, will get the pole. So it's a 20-point bonus for the day. May end up getting the win, which would be big for his standings right now. I, I, I wouldn't entirely say solidify himself a place in the playoffs, but first career win, 10 top 10s. He may get a top 10 streak going again, maybe. With a win, it's a little different. We'll see how it goes. It looked like these guys may have caught up a little bit. See if they can get up to and quite possibly make a pass, but they're not quite there yet in terms of speed. Specifically Ryan Cole, who's looking for a second one of the season. Jet 07 looking for his first career win still. Oh, 
297 all really close on the wall there. That's going to give him a lot of speed, though. Doesn't give him a lot, as much run as I thought, but he does still have the advantage off of that corner. Again, almost hitting the wall is better than hitting the wall. And uh, he didn't hit it, so got speed from it. Oh, wow, that pit five cut up a ton there. Missed the, missed the turtles just a little bit, cost some time there. If he's faster, he's going to have to start moving now because we're coming to three-ish, yeah, three laps to go. This race has went caution-free. Is that? Yeah. Keep an eye on the back, not seeing anyone have any issues. 101 I don't think is going to be an issue for a lap car. But here comes that 55, he's trying something. Doesn't quite, he's, he's faster once he gets around, right around here. He starts, he starts catching up that 97. After that, he starts falling off. Hey, Zach, you cover the Huh? And I'm one happy team owner right now. Where's his team owner? Uh... Anthony McClure, running 14th. Not having a bad day. Oh, I, I'm a happy owner right now. Yep. As a Kyler sister, will be going over to track house racing next season. So will Riley Gorse. Riley Gorse was seeing him. He uh, had a, appears to be having some issues today. I will say, uh, speed-wise, they've kind of had it. Consistency-wise, haven't quite had it. They've had some equipment issues here and there, and uh, this may be one of those days. Is that the 06? The 06 is Zigzagoon. Man, fell back to 44th. It was running really high up there. Unfortunately, fell back. Did not need that for his standings. As he was looking to have a, a pretty good shot at the other cars. Um, definitely wasn't in the top 10, but... We're going to have a decent finish nonetheless. As we were two laps there, coming to the white flag this time. No one really has anything. Bad setup, just can't really do much about Oh, 97 to the wall. That. I don't think the nine, I don't think 55's got enough to do it, though. In fact, he gained speed from it. Actually got faster. So, not, not, not really going to do much for that 55. Because he was fit quicker, he may have used up his stuff. See how it all ends. See how it all ends right here. Coming to the white flag here. Kyler Sustre. Joined the season for Dodge Team Motorsports. Dodge has gotten a few wins here and there. Has already signed a contract next season to join Trackhouse Racing. And, uh,. He's got six top tens, all of which he got in a row. Had a slump. That slump has been uh, not too bad, I'll say. Twenty top twenties, top fifteens out of forty-six car field. Uh, a mid-off, if you would, between the drivers, and he's just not quite found it. But today had speed, fastest car. No one's really been able to catch him. Bad setup goes into his hands. Um, and uh will solidify himself as a NCCRS winner if he can make it around these final few corners on this final lap. Hey, he's def I wouldn't say it's a long time coming, but this win's probably going to feel good after getting six top tens in a row, being crowned captain consistency. Hey, he's coming around this uh, bus stop for the final time. Ryan Cole doesn't quite have much runs on him right now. It won't be enough for him. Good solid second place finish, though. Be good for his standing. May put him in a decent championship battle. We'll see after points are updated. But here comes Kyler Sustre. He will win here at the Charlotte Roval. Alrighty. That race is mid. No other way to put it. Well, um, 
Reggie, you got any uh, input? Take that as a no. I can I still see four and three. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. In fact, that is entirely accurate. We watched the rest of the field go by. Santa Messi was going to end that long line of cars that did not finish that well. Man. And then Zig Zagoon, Riley Gorse, and Moon Man were the three cars that finished very far back. That will be the second race in a row. Santa Messi finishes a subpar 40th. Um, PS Motorsports needs to get their stuff together, looks like, as uh, not really getting good finishes. Uh, neither is the 57. So that's all I got to say on that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you next race. Hopefully it's better.